I'm literally about to get so fit if my butt isn't big by the end of this trip. I'm done. In Croatia, I am in Dubrovnik. I landed a few hours ago. I was able to walk around and explore just a little bit. And honestly, this city is already number one on my list. Uh, I've been to Spain, so I was in Mallorca, Barcelona, and now I am in Dubrovnik. And again, this place is just so beautiful beyond words. If you've done any research, then you'll know that this is where Game of Thrones was filmed. And I'm sure you've probably heard that in almost every video that you've watched. I have a lot I want to get done tomorrow. So I want to do the walking tour. I want to go to the booze bar. Uh, I want to do kayaking. So a lot that I, I'm trying to squeeze in into tomorrow. So tonight I'm just going to take it easy, explore the city and really just take it in because it's honestly so, 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 so beautiful. Is your friend? Yeah, we, I mean, not a long time, like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's a long-term friend. Yeah, yeah. Very beautiful cat. <laughs> Can I have the like the small cone, the single? Which one do you like? Well, I like caramel. Okay. Caramel. Okay, I'm gonna do the caramel. That's what I that's what I wanted, so. Thank you. Look how clear the water is, even from up here. Thank you. Your rice? Yum. Thank you. Enjoy me up. It's going to be good. It can, can be spicy. From Dubrovnik I am on day two so today is the day that I have a lot of things I want to accomplish so I'm about to go on the walking tour I'm already kind of running late but just <coughs> just a recap of um, last night it was really cool I went to the booze bar because I couldn't make up my mind on dinner met these people actually because we were all kind of lost so we found the bar together and then we decided to sit together because the bar is super packed and it's kind of hard to get a seat so we ended up sitting together then we went to dinner together and then we went to the bar I need to hurry up and go on this tour before they leave me.
This honestly looks so good. All right, so I honestly feel so much better now that I ate and had a cup of coffee. <laughs> and when I was headed to that tour, I was feeling so grumpy out of nowhere. My tour is in about 20 minutes, so I'm able to kind of just relax for a little bit before I go on this two hour walk. And I'm really not a cat person, but this trip is making me kind of want a cat. It's already in somewhat in age. When this all comes to power, this lasts for decades. You know, these courts, you'll never get to experience, you know, never get to try. So that's right now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, this is so cool. It's so cute. Oh my god. headed towards the main area of the town I am supposed to be going kayaking right now but I don't really know if I want to I met some people who were going to go cliff jumping at the booza bar so I might do that instead uh, the kayaking I was already on the fence about because one I've never been kayak before I'm kayaking and the ocean just seems a little scary for me and I've been seeing a lot of videos and I don't know I'm a little nervous I know I should be you know living in fear but I've been seeing too many videos where I'm kayaking I also don't want to regret it but I think either choice I'll have fun so I need to make my decision within the next like five minutes but it's fine it's cool either way I'm gonna have fun So I decided on the kayaking. Great decision. Great decision. I went with the guide though. I was super, super nervous, but it's actually really, really nice. It was a good decision. So kayaking was fun, but I'm so tired, but it was so worth it. I was so happy. When I was walking up, I, my legs were actually shaking. I don't know why I was so nervous and scared, but I was just really, really nervous and freaking out. And the guide was like, okay, you can, you can come with me. He really was probably doing all the work in the kayak, but it was still fun. It was still so fun. So I am on my way to go get something to eat and then call it a night because I'm done. I'm tired, I'm tired. Brovnik was amazing, but I am so exhausted. <laughs> So I am leaving Dubrovnik today. I was really, really craving an iced coffee. It's so hot and you know, obviously there's a lot of hot drinks here in, in Europe. But I found this cute little coffee shop right before I was about to leave. It's actually really good. <laughs> okay, thanks.
I am in Havar. I've actually been here since uh, last night. But today, I woke up, I really wasn't feeling the best. I feel like I've been on go since this trip started and I really just needed to rest my body. Sometimes I feel like we forget that when we're on vacations or trips, it's okay to relax. I am at the beach watching the sunset and then tomorrow I have a uh, boat excursion. I'm excited about that. So today, again, I'm just gonna take it easy. Good morning. So today is the boat excursion day. So we are visiting the Green Cave, Blue Cave, and some other islands around Havar. I am super excited uh, because I took yesterday to relax, so I'm ready to be on the boat. It's also really, really hot, so it's a great day to be in the ocean. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm having a proper breakfast at this place that is right in front of the water and it's set up really nicely. Um, the, the chairs are set up for like lounging and stuff. So 
Yeah, I'm excited to actually eat something because I feel like my body is starved.